So if you don't know what bottoms up is, prepare to be blown away. This is an invention that fills draft beer from the bottom of the cup up. Check this out. Unbelievable. Everything to do with this product is lean thinking at the highest level. How every single bar in the world is not lined up to put this in their establishment is beyond me. All of the scrap, all of the waste has been eliminated from filling a draft beer the old fashioned way. This is phenomenal. Freeing up the people and wait staff to actually do customer service, not just stand there filling a beer and pouring the foam down the drain. I was lucky enough to get a guided tour from the owner and the inventor himself. Get ready to be blown away. So here we are rolling into the headquarters of Bottoms Up Beer Dispenser, expecting your average lean tour. They do everything in-house. It's unbelievable. They have their whole print shop in-house. They do all their own 3D printing. And as you would expect from any good lean tour, check it all out. QR codes, Kaizen foam, Kanban cards. Everything is organized. Everything is dialed in throughout the entire factory. The floors are marked. Um, there is truly not a square inch of this building that does not have lean thinking applied to it. They make all their own metal parts, metal CNC, milling machines. I mean, this company is staggering. The level of thoughtfulness at every turn was just so, so impressive. somebody who, you know, just say the eight ways. Uh, this is what we're trying to achieve by 2040. Bottom filling is the way draft beer is dispensed and bottoms up is the market leader in that segment. Um, the majority of... Here's where the real magic starts with these sketches. I'll let Josh tell you about it. Bottoms up dispenser prototype. It's made of car parts and stuff I had laying around my house. <laughs> Carter actuator, picnic tab. Some wall work transformers, TV tray. <laughs> it's uh, you know, whatever. To make it work, and it worked. Amazing. Remember how I said this wasn't your average lean tour? This is a story of innovation like I have never witnessed in my life. <laughs> the first prototype that we went from this to this. Um, this is uh, the first disposable cup bottoms up dispenser so we uh we figured out that we could just if you're doing four that you could do 50 beers in a minute we've done, since done 60 beers in a minute which is pretty cool um but <laughs> my brain's not working right we had a uh, opportunity to do a movie night for red hook brewery we built this thing in a week i cut my ankle bracelet off and then we went and did the event that's how I knew I had, you know, had to do it. It was the day I got off uh, house arrest. So you can see it's still Carter actuators, um, but these are reverse engineered actual faucets. Turned on their side. This is the brain that runs it. It all runs off a timer, so time on, time off. Um, now to this. So these are the prototypes that, this is like a proof of concept that it could be manufactured, right? Um, so still off-the-shelf components, off-the-shelf buttons. What's funny about these is beer is sticky and they would get down in these buttons and they'd get stuck <laughs> on. And like there's nothing you could do about it, beer just spraying all over the fucking seat. <laughs> that was great. But if you look under it, it's still a rat's nest of wires. Uh, what has happened here is um, this valve, for all intents and purposes, is exactly so now it's uh, oh, wow. much tidier, much nicer, much neater. And what's happening now is that it throws the full 24 volts for, it's like 500 milliseconds, and then it drops it down to five volt holding. So you can see the evolution of 
the control boards. Okay, so here's the most mind-blowing part of the whole thing. When you see a product like that, you're fully expecting it to be manufactured overseas and brought, you know, in-house and, and maybe tweaked and sold. No, 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 no. Bottoms Up makes every single part that goes into their machines. All of the electronics, all of the little gadgets and gizmos, and the innovation just never stopped. Every work cell had a fancy little invention. And it was wow. incredible to have Josh explain to me how all the valves work and how everything worked. Just standing there with him as he described his products, uh, dare I say, must have been exactly what it was like to stand beside Henry Ford as he proudly talked about his Model T. And if you know me, you know that I do not throw around the Henry Ford quote lightly. Look at the innovation. I just keep going back to that word. My God, it was amazing. You can see how the product evolved, how the shop evolved, how the equipment evolved as the demand increased. Creating flow with all of their machines. I am all but speechless when it comes to what I saw and what I learned. So if you ever want to go to a factory where you're going to see more than fancy shadow boards and Kaizen foam, where you're going to be truly motivated to innovate, Bottoms Up is the place. You need to go there. I am so glad that I am not a competitor of Bottoms Up. <laughs> Bar none, one of the best factories I've ever seen, and I got the t-shirt to prove it. <laughs>